All right, we got a lot of this place covered. We just need to get our ass into the fireplace. Not the, not like, not, 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 you know what I mean. The place of fire, not the, you know what I mean. Comes to the bad time fire. Ah! Wow, that's really specifically timed. That's it made me feel a little bit uncomfortable if I'm going to be totally honest with you. I feel like that wasn't her head. I feel like they replaced her head with a different statue's head. What? <clears throat> Is that even a statue? Is that a decapitated chunk of rat? Ah! That's un this is unnerving. Hey. Lingurium necklace. Don't you care? Don't you like wearing lingurium? It gives you three agility and lightning resistance. I don't, I'm not a big fan of wearing items that increase one elemental resistance by like 10% in like most games. Not unless I'm specifically like playing World of Warcraft basically 10 years ago and preparing for a raid where I have to fight a boss that specializes in a specific element of attack and I need to stack elemental res resist for that specific fight. Except for that incredibly specific uh, case, it just feels like it's so rarely worth it. I need to like know that, that that I'm gonna be dealing with a ton of people that have the exact element to justify that. Whereas I don't really feel like I'm getting showered with lightning. So whenever so while the game's uh, score system keeps giving a decent score to these things that require uh, they keep they keep giving a good score to the things that give you 10% resist. I'm sitting here like yeah. Wow, I'll, uh, one tenth of the damage will be gone if I get hit by that specific element out of all the attack types. Which 10% meaning that like if it's a 50 damage attack, it'll hit instead hit me for 45 damage. If that's how they use resist in this game, or is it a, or is it a chance to skip the entire attack? I'm actually not sure which which version of resistance we're using in this game. Wow, this is hurting me. Stop that, please. Yeah, let's heal our dying friend real quick. Before she gets in trouble. Well, our whole team's gonna have turns in, in order, actually, right now, so... Still. <laughs> let's still let's still do it. Where's my screamy? Need y'all to stop attacking my friend. So that she can do this. Why is it so strong? Like, why is it so strong? Oh, I thought that was a multi-target attack. I mixed up which which ones were attacks and which ones are not. Oh well. That'll probably kill them all. But if it doesn't, I'm still gonna mess up this one that has all the health. You. There we go. Now they'll all die. Everyone defend. It looped all the way around because they haven't had a turn in between? That's amazing. I meant to click on the shaman, but okay. <laughs> Somebody has to land the hit. I have an overpowered mage that sh d dies in two hits. The glass cannon strategy to not having to spend that much time in the combat system, as it turns out. <laughs> Do you want the abridged version of this game's playthrough? Play as a mage. Those fights will be over in no time. I didn't know that this was going to happen when I went into this, but I also don't necessarily regret it, so... Sue me. <laughs> Locked door. Broken passageway. Twenty eight meters. I don't have that one. Hmm. Sounds like it's be behind me. Ah, uh, it's likely past this gate, this locked door. Protector. 
Okay. That's summon a dude. That's probably it's probably overkill, given how these guys just die. Oh well. Three of you can't hurt me. Three of you are. Is that the same three? <laughs> did the say did the same three that I just got rid of also be the same ones that that happened to? That's kind of incredible if that's happened. It, Ah, we have to directly attack you. Well, then I will. No, I won't. Heal. There you go. Just go ahead and die. It's it's fine. Oh, he's alive. Stop being alive. What the? <laughs> Each battle strengthens my powers, but saddens my spirit. Oh. He really does feel like he's the. The bird guy from Never Ending Story that I think is what that was from. Ah, a hole. That really gives away where the secret is. Composite bow. For all my bow users. Oh, I made myself sad. Well, who has the highest dexterity? Agility, I mean. Five, nine, five, seventeen. Okay. Let's get you a better bow. That was a damage composite bow, and it requires 30 agility. Okay. Still can get them a better bow, just not that one, <laughs> as it turns out. Yeah, not crazy about resistance gear. And we are done with that. I just pressed F1. That is not the right button. Uh, escape? Ta hold F? No. Control- there we go. <laughs> I'm like, one of these buttons does the thing I want. I just can't remember which one it is. And I'm afraid that I might accidentally press the hotkey that stops my recording or some other weird shit. It's not that one. I don't really need to rest. Might as well save. It don't hurt to save. Uh, gotta re okay. Gotta remind myself how to read. Because <laughs> the, uh, the, the month and day are looped around from the perspective of my country of origin. So I've got to kind of do a double take so I don't override the wrong save. Hi, are you the super duper elemental of awesomeness and stuff? Cause like that's pretty rad, I guess. Can it be? The sacred sanctuary of Balvanyosh. And with it, the ancient elemental. The sanctuary's protectors place the ancient elemental here to vanquish anyone who dares to trespass. Including trespassers like us. Yes. Dramatic, albeit perhaps suitably so. Party heal. Shifts immunity. Which immunities? Um. Okay, he's immune to frightening. Cool. That's nice of you. Uh, let's do the other guy's fire thing first before I start dealing with fire. So, ice. Cool, you're immune to ice. I'm glad that we could all come together. Are you immune to taunting too? Am I gonna find out that you're immune to taunting? Not immune to lightning, as it turns out. So that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, I don't have that fire skill that I was thinking about. Okay. How do you feel about getting stunned? How do you feel about three damage? Cool. Um. This heals and grants defense. They're not really hurt yet, though. Let's start boosting people.
frost plus weapon. He's immune to frost, isn't he? Or is that or does that change constantly? Uh, what can I read his? I can't read his his immunities. He just is just has immunities. Okay, that hurt him. Fire? No, he's immune to fire. Uh. So I can't use that, which is the strong one. What if I just hit you really, like, really hard? Like, so hard. Wow, four damage. Cool. Well, at least one of my attacks once caused damage, I guess. Uh, that's, that's neat. All that hype to do five damage. Wow. I mean, we could eventually beat him to death. It would just take a very long time. I just, I don't know what shifts immunity means. I would imagine that it means that his immunities change from turn to turn, potentially. Which is not useful to me, because I can't tell which one's going to happen. This will at least deflect some of the incoming attacks back at him to do damage to him. Oh, that's pretty dramatic. Okay, so each his entire appearance changes when his resistance changes. Okay. Just need a way to figure out which ones he's immune to now. Oh, I missed. C cool. <laughs> Yay. Ah, shit. I couldn't tell which thing he was immune to because it did blue damage. Cause I think that I think both of that attacks numbers are blue, which makes it not very useful for telling which thing he was immune to, as it turns out. No, he's still immune to fire. Okay. He's immune to knockdown. It said, it said immune, so that, that, must, that must mean that that part triggered. Hmm, I think it just missed that time. Okay, now you're back to being green. So now can I hurt you with fire? No? I... <sighs> I don't know if I can figure out the logic between when he's green and when he's red. Unless both forms he has are immune to fire? Does he have other forms? Or is it just the immune to fire forms? But he's never gone blue yet, has he? Or did I miss that? Now he's blue. I bet this does damage now. Yeah. There's some damage. Alright, let's start using tricks. So he's probably immune to frost now that he's blue. Probably vulnerable to fire. Fortunately, that character prim primarily has storm attacks. Alright, so now that you're blue, you should be vulnerable to this, right? Yeah, there's some damage. Blue is more intuitive. What does green mean? Poison, I guess? But poison meant, meant he is immune to fire still? Hmm. I think that ice worked against him when he was green. Whereas he felt like he was kind of immune to everything when he was in red, when he was fire form. That means that fire form is probably vulnerable to poison, which I don't really have represented in my current party because of, you know, changes. Uh, and then in ice form, he's vulnerable to fire. So this is my best chance to attack him, really, is when I have these, this kind of element available. 
I gotta give everyone their energy back. I almost forgot. Okay, yeah, don't use frost. Double attack. He hasn't changed yet. I wouldn't want to use blue attacks right now, though, I don't think. Clicking away at him, and he's not that durable right now. I mean, he's not doing that much damage to me right now, so we should be alright. Oh, he's back to fire mode. Just in time for when all my cooldowns were gonna wear off and let me actually use them. You like rocks? I have rocks. Hey, frost works when he's in fire mode. Okay. I can do that. Lightning? Nope, lightning does not work in fire mode. And that's more lightning, so that's not good for me. But I've got available elements, so I'm in a better place than other other people might be in this situation. Oh yeah, I do still have a skeleton perpetually trying to attack throughout all this mess. Kind of funny to me. Easy to lose track of that guy. The lightning bad. Which is all this guy has. Swipe at him. Yeah, that ice is doing a lot of damage every turn. This shouldn't take much longer. Don't really need the heal. <laughs> Thanks, skeleton. Next hit kills, and ice is back. Oh, wait, he's still on ice. I just, yeah, I should just hit him. Taking life does not heal my soul. Huh. Kind of would have expected all of his rocks that made up his body just all fall apart. But instead he fell over like he had a heart attack, like he was a person. Chain mace, one-handed weapon. Chance to stun. Some stats. Powerful but very imprecise. It inflicts massive damage upon enemies and possibly minor damage to its allies or its wielder. Well, then I don't want to use it. <laughs> it doesn't say anything about that anywhere else besides its description. Does it actually happen? I wonder. Victory! Fantastic teamwork, everyone! It felt defensive, not aggressive. What was it protecting? Examine these walls closely. Remember the surprise I teased earlier? You just might find it. Surprise? Would you like a surprise? I'd like a surprise. Uh, you leveled up. Ooh, new ability. Voices from the deep. Madden all enemies with the 47% chance. Fear is good. It makes people not hurt me. So I can charge my fireball cannon. Nice pouch is probably a vendor item. Yep. Ancient elemental. So here's what I don't get about the huge energy monster we fought to access the portal to the world tree. Why is he called the ancient elemental? If he were created by disgruntled fairies after Balvanios was erected, isn't he more of a fairly recent elemental? Oh, he's bothered by the ancient part. <laughs> Whatever the case, I now have a newfound respect for fairies. They may seem like harmless little nuisances if you encounter them in the wild, but when they team up, and when they team up feeling betrayed, they can create an indescribable monstrosity capable of dealing some massive damage. It wasn't that bad. I actually feel a tinge of remorse for many of the unnatural abominations that cross our path. That forest giant just wanted to guard his shovel, and even the giant spider was obviously a family woman, but this thing? 
There was no soul there, just a conglomeration of natural forces formed into a single killing force. Totally lifeless. Just like it almost made us. Oh, it almost made us lifeless. I thought he was victim blaming for a second there. Anyway, got a little ahead of myself, but I did I did want to check out this place. Neat. That was actually a really cool animation. <laughs> find a way to the world tree, find a way to the gate of the world tree. I don't know, maybe I should focus on this. I'm just used to that being the ending of a zone, but there was no... Uh, well, you're about to leave warning when I got here, so... Maybe this is a midway through the dungeon boss fight instead. Range your boots. 40 agility. You got the most agility, right? Yeah, you can't wear them either. They give you more agility. Hello. This room. Wow. Is this what I think it is, Campo? If you think it's an access point for the world tree, then yes, it is exactly what you think it is. I didn't realize we'd find one within the confines of this castle. We're not out of the woods yet. Well, I suppose into the woods is better phrasing. We must earn that access. Another puzzle, no doubt. Correct. The tiles in the room where we battled the ancient elemental. Interesting. I'm going to go back to my previous plan. Let's leave. Yeah, there's a this I think we're I think that once I solve the puzzle we're gonna be leaving. So let's go back to the other chunks of dungeon I haven't been to yet. Just in case. Meanwhile, that pretty room is a little spoiled for me because every time I log into this game, every time you open this game, it it seems to check you the file you've been using lately. And it shows you a, t a start screen that's based on the, the current level you're in. And the start screen I've been getting lately is that is that room. So I actually already know what it looks like as a result. Oh, maybe I, maybe I should have rested. I felt like we were in a good position. Wow, they're sure all using the same attack. Oh no! There must be some connection between these two rooms. How exactly do they affect one another? Wow. <laughs> Alright, so that's enough dots to give me 20 damage per turn. That's pretty bad. Let's work on some healing. Lots of fear over there, huh? And kill them all. Not quite. Not quite. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You could use a resurrection spell now. That was a lot of incoming damage. Okay. What a great time to go back and rest. Ouch. There we go. A humble suggestion from an old woman. Match the images between the blocks and the murals. Oh, the, the longer I continue, they're going to keep giving me tutorials about the puzzle, but actually I walked away. That's interesting. So the clues that they give during puzzles, that, which they've been in multiple past puzzles, they've been giving me clues periodically. It's based on how many steps I've taken since the clue since the puzzle started. I'm promptly closed. <laughs> Another of the count's devious castle quirks. Hmm. How do you know the door closed? I didn't even see which one opened.
This is such a cool looking hallway with the dragon. The Count made no secret of his fascination with dragons. Very interesting, so long as the dragons hide their own fascinating secrets. Ah. You ain't no dragon. You got a mercenary thing in me, Jiggy. Mercenary outfit. <laughs> and I look at it with the character who's currently wearing it. Ah, oh, it's an upgrade for you. Sure. How we do it on secrets? Nine out of fourteen. Wow. Already two thirds. These look so. S yeah, it's it's the uh, the the painting is messing with me. It's translucent, so it makes me think that the entire wall is translucent, which almost masks the fact that that one is actually translucent. Trixie, Trixie. So it's a three-headed dragon. That's his torso. And he has three heads. Each of which you can follow around the environment. The three different locations. <gasps> oh! If you follow... The head's path, the wall becomes translucent. Never make it. it closes too quickly. Maybe not right now, but there has to be a way. They're suggesting I can freeze time. So I, I solved this one on accident. Alright, so this so let's let's solve it backwards. So I know which way to go. So go down the middle, then to here, and this will be translucent. Ta-da! Superior composite bow. I can use that one even less. Yeah, 40 agility. Wow, it's 10 more. I just got a composite bow for the first time, didn't I? And I already have a superior one, which is like 50% better. Some real uh, usefulness spikes. Alright, so I solved that room and how its secrets work. That door is when I want to, where I want to go, but I can only get there via pausing time, I guess. Easier said than done, right? Currently just trying to think back to whether or not there's more secrets. I might be done with this map. The main thing is that that door is not open, so in order, I have to get there, but there's a time limit that I apparently can't do, because the, the, the NPCs are just straight up saying, or not the, not the NPCs, the party is just straight up saying, yeah, you can't do that. Which I didn't even try to test it, but the, they're already preemptively saying that I can't do it with my current speed. They also somehow knew that that, that door was opening and closing, even though it was behind a secret wall. But yeah, so I have to press that and then run down the secret path but apparently I need to go faster. There is you, though. So let's book our way back to the crystal and see if I can get that. And if that doesn't work out, then I guess we'll solve the final room and move on until I get more mechanics.